Hi everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 6.4.1 Implementing Ether Channel. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Switching, Routing, and Wireless Essentials Version 7 Cisco Networking Academy curriculum. Now, in this one, you notice that our topology over to the right is blank. So we are going to be starting from scratch by adding our own devices, cabling them together, and then configuring three port channels based off of their um, type and their ports. So let's get started. So down here at the bottom, we've got our devices. So we want to make sure we go to network devices and then switches. And we're going to grab a 2960 place it on the board here and I'm going to click there to name this um, SWA. <clears throat> I'm going to grab another 2960, place it over here and name it SWB. Now this does not change the host name, it only changes the label. This is like putting a label a sticker on the outside. It does not actually change the configurations. Then I'm going to name that one SWC. All right. Um, so now we want to cable these together. Um, and it says repeat this step, arrange them, name the devices. Um, then it wants us to click the orange lightning bolt connections. We're going to use Ethernet straight through cables. It's a solid black diagonal line. So it's down here. And we are going to connect. We want to use our chart over there. SWA G01 to SWB G01. We want them to be the same name on each end, but going to the right uh, switch. SWA G02, SWB G02. Now, you don't have to lay it out in this triangle form that I have. You could pretty much lay it out however you want to. Um, <clears throat> just again, make sure they're connected correctly. Uh, the next one, we've got SWA to SWC. So SWA's FA021 to SWC's FA021, then SWA's FA022 to SWC's FA022. Then finally, SWB FA023 to SWC's FA023, and then SWB FA024 to SWC's FA024. All right. So now that we have that cable together, we're going to start configuring Ether Channel. And again, you can widen them out a little bit so you can see the names. It really doesn't matter here, just as long as you configure them correctly. So this is SWA. So I'm going to go in here and type hostname SWA. Oh, go to configuration mode first. Hostname SWA. All right, and I'm going to configure this port channel. And this is the one that's going from SWA to SWB for PAGP. All right, for port channel one, PAGP, both sides should negotiate Ether channel. So we want to negotiate PAGP. So on SWB, we're going to put it in auto, but on SWA, we're going to put it in desirable mode. So one end has to be in desirable, one end in auto, or both ends can be in auto. Or sorry, both ends can be in desirable. Both ends cannot be in auto because neither will negotiate. Um, so we're going to do interface range G01 through 2. Then we're going to do channel group 1 mode, and we're going to do desirable for this end. And then interface port channel one switch port mode trunk again we need to name it because it's our first time on it host name swb all right and then we're going to do interface range g01 through two channel group one mode and then again it wants us to negotiate PAGP so we're going to use auto mode okay then interface port channel one switch port mode trunk 
So that configured SWB. Now that both ends are configured, we can go to do show ether channel summary and we'll see here that PAGP is up and operating. And right now we are at 35% with port channel one configured. Okay, now let's go to port channel two. <clears throat> port channel two says both sides should negotiate ether channel. So that means one side is gonna be an active and one side is gonna be in passive. Um, so one end is gonna be in passive and one end is gonna be on active. Um, it doesn't really specify and tell us which end that is, but hopefully it will work. So again, this is between SWA and SWC. So let's start with SWA here. So we're going to do interface range FAs 21 through 22. And we're going to do channel group. Two. Oh, sorry, mode. And then we're going to use, remember, one end needs to be an active, one end needs to be in passive. So let's try active for this end. On the SWA, we're going to do active. And then interface port channel two, switch port mode trunk. All right, then we go to SWC's end. That's down here. <clears throat> Enable. We have not configured this one yet, so let's do a host name SWC first. And again, it's interface range FA021 through 22. And again, channel group two mode. This time we're going to do passive on this end. All right. And the reason we're doing passive is because we did active on the other end and it wants us to negotiate. Okay, so again, we did channel group two mode passive. All right, then port interface, interface port channel two, switch port mode trunk. Okay, then the last one is SWB to SWC for port channel three. And to do that, it says this is a backup LACP ether channel. Um, and before we get there, let's check our results because sometimes they don't tell us which kind of mode to put this in. Um, so it's like all our SWAs are right. Our SWC here does say that it does not like the channel mode so it said it wanted to negotiate for um it did say it wanted to negotiate for it so let's see if we were to put that in active mode on both ends <clears throat> so i'm gonna do a interface range fa0 21 through 22 again and channel group two mode active let's see if it liked that better it did so it actually wanted both ends in active, even though it would have technically worked. And then do show ether channel summary. All right. Um, oh, interface port channel two, switch port mode trunk. Again, let's see. Change state to up. And let's try that again now it's up for port channel two all right so it just took a second to kick in but both ends are in active mode um, we also want to make sure to type in the no shut command so interface range fa0 21 through 22 no shut just to make sure 
All right. And they're turning back on. They'll do a lot of turning on, turning off until it gets right. Um, the last one, backup. Now, again, it shows that for backup LACP, we need to do one mode active, one side and passive. OK, and that's the backup. So we want to configure port channel three as an LACP channel between SWB and SWC. In this case, negotiation with SWB, SWB uh, does not initiate negotiation. So that means SWC is going to be in passive. SWB should be in active. So for SWB, we're going to do interface range FA 023 through 24 channel group three mode active for SWB. And then interface port channel three, switch port mode trunk. And then on SWC's end, we're going to do interface range FA023 through 24, channel group three, mode passive. And then interface port channel three. Oh, configuration mode. I don't know how I got back out that far. Interface port channel three, switch port mode shrunk. It looks like it didn't like that either. So maybe it wanted. So it looks like it wanted on the other end. So let's go fix that. So SWB instead of we put SWB in active. So it wants SWB in passive and SWC in active. So let's go fix it. Um, Interface range FA 0 23 through 24 channel group 3 mode passive. Make sure we type in no shut, make sure they're on. Interface port channel 3 switch port mode trunk just to make sure. And then on SWC's end. Interface range FA 0 23 through 24 channel group 3 mode active no shut and then interface port channel 3 switch port mode shrunk. All right, now we are at 93. Let's check our results one more time. And it did not like SWBs for G01 and G02. So let's go back and look at our instructions one more time for PAGP. Maybe it wants both sides of those instead of in, maybe it wants both sides in desirable mode. So let's do interface range g01 through 2 channel group 1 mode desirable that will force it and then interface port channel 2 1 Switch port mode trunk.
Now that gives us a hundred. 